Morning guys, okay, get ready. This is gonna be quite a big one. I have just been to Asset Audi and Home Bargains to do a holiday shop. And I have purchased all the food that we need, like snacks and stuff. And I've also purchased all the essentials that we're gonna need as well. So it's quite a big one. I don't know how much I spent, I think between 60 and 70 pound. Uh, so settle in, get ready, because I'm gonna go for everything. So the first thing I'm going to do is show you things that I've already picked up or that my mum has seen on offer and she's picked it up and we put it to one side ready for our holiday that we are going on next week. And then I'm also going to show you the stuff I bought in Home Bargains. I have picked up a few bits to get us through for the next few days. My son is only with me for a couple of days before he goes back to his dad for a couple of days. And then when I pick him up again, we are heading straight off onto our holiday to Butlins at Bognor Regis. I have already got the premium dining plan at Butlins, which means we already have our breakfast and we have our dinner sorted. But we also needed some snacks and my son can get up quite early sometimes before the food would open for breakfast. He's up and straight away with boys or any kids, I'm hungry is usually one of the first words out of his mouth. So I wanted to get a few bits in that he could have in the morning before we head off to breakfast. So let me show you what I got and then let me know that I probably bought too much because I probably have. So here is things that either I've picked up or my mum have picked up because she saw it on offer and she knew it was going to Butlins, so she's picked it up as well. So my mum picked up some Jacob's Cracker Crisp because my son absolutely loves these. And she also picked up this fizzy mix, this 700 gram bag of fizzy mix. I am not taking the whole bag. Please don't think I'm gonna let my son eat a 700 gram mega bag of sweets on holiday. I'm gonna open it, I'm going to take about half of it and then the other half will stay at home and the reason I'm taking half is because my two nieces are also going to be there on holiday with us so I'm taking plenty of sweets for all three of them but I'm not taking a 700 gram bag for my son to eat just to let you know also picked up some pretzel things uh, because my son and I really really like these and we can snack on these throughout the park or um, if we're in the apartment before dinner and we're hungry it's a little light snack we can have my mum picked up some smoky bacon tuck biscuits as well just in case my son wanted those uh, picked up these peppero white cookie sticks i love these my son loves these so these will be gone um Maoan blocks because my son adores these as well he hates the lemon ones but he likes the others uh, i took two packets so that my nieces can have some too I picked up some Oreos because they were on offer. So there's six mini bags of Oreos. And as I've got three kids going, that's two bags each. Perfect. Um, and then I picked up these ice cream flavor Harry Bow sweets. So that'll be enough sweets to get him through for the holiday. And he's probably going to have a few treats while we're there as well. Um, also picked up these Papita Party uh, packets. We have opened them. My son and I like them. There's about four... Um, these circle things in each pack and you get six packs um so we are going to take uh four packs so one each for the kids and a spare one and also picked up the three pringles because all three kids love the pringles and if you've watched my previous videos you know i've also picked up the smaller containers which i am taking with me i'm going to fill them up with these so rather than take these around the park i take the smaller ones around the park so i don't know how much that was because we've been picking it up over the last few weeks but this is what we already have ready for our trip. And then over in Home Bargains, I spent £26.26, I want to say. But keep watching and all the prices will be at the end. So let's start with the food. I picked up fruit strings and fruit stars. Um, some of them will go in the car on the journey down, the journey back. And the others he will have in the park as snacks. Um, also picked up Maryland cookies and I picked up party rings. So there's plenty of biscuits for all three kids. And yes, we're probably going to bring some back, but then that gets me through the rest of the summer as well. Also picked up these baked pretzels in Home Bargains, but I saw today that they actually did them in Aldi for one twenty-five, but in Home Bargains they're one fifty. But I already picked these up before I saw them in Aldi. So I'll be taking them again. Some will go in the car on the way down, some in the car on the way back and the rest will be at the actual park um i picked up dark chocolate rice cakes but these are for now 
they'll be gone before we go on holiday. And they had some of these little mini rice cakes as well. These were the only pack they had left, but I'm going to put these in the car for my son to have while we're driving down there. And then I also picked up some rice thins as well because my son loves these. And again, it's something to snack on in the actual park, in the apartment room, whatever it needs to be done. And the final food thing I bought were these like croissant chocolate pan things. They're croissants with chocolate in the middle. Um, I'm only going to take two or three of them. And like I said in my intro, my son can get up quite early and be hungry. So I thought... I can take one of those and if he feels like he wants one of them, he can have one of them in the morning. And where I've also took fruit, we'll get into that. Um, and then over on to other things. Um, some sponges for the kitchen, because I said we're in, a, in an apartment, so we're not in a hotel or anything. We're in an apartment, so to clean up after ourselves. Also taking some kitchen roll as well, because I don't want to buy this kind of stuff down there because it's going to be more expensive. So I picked up some kitchen roll. Um, also picked up some feminine products for me. I'm not due, but I like to have them in case, just in case. Um, I picked up some more cool packs. i um, got one upstairs in my bag ready to go. I'm going to take another one, but I'm going to leave one at home in the cupboard because I think they're really handy to have. And they're only 39p bargain. I also picked up these toothbrush holders. Uh, these are 39p each. They're toothbrush cases, so you put them in there and it saves them getting germs all over them, which I thought was really, really good. So they were 39p each. Um, also picked up some zinc tablets, but that's for now my usual vitamins that I have each day. And I picked up some more sun cream for my son. He prefers the roll-on one. Actually, I'm lying. He prefers the cream, but he doesn't rub it in properly and he ends up turning blue. <laughs> so the roll-on one is much easier to apply, especially if we're in the parks. We're not going to get sticky hands. You can just roll roll this on. Um, I think that was one ninety nine in Home Bargains for my son. Um, I picked up two of these waters for my son as well. One is uh, forest fruit flavour and one is strawberry and kiwi flavour. Uh, so he's got eight pa eight bottles of water there. I know it's not going to get through. I do have some fruit shoots and I've got water with some squash as well that I'm going to be taking, which leads me into this. I picked up these slushy puppy flavour drink things, blue raspberry flavour and strawberry flavour. Uh, they were 99p each. I'm taking water with me um, and I thought I could just put this in the drink as well for my son so he can have a little bit of flavour. And then moving on, I've got some cleaning wipes, bathroom wipes and toilet wipes. Because it is an apartment, even though it's been cleaned, I do like to go and wipe it down again myself just to make sure that it is actually clean. So I picked those up today. So I've got all of them to take. I picked up a pack of pens and a notepad because... I'm a list person. I like to make lists every single day, even on holiday. And I like to jot things down when I remember things. So I'm going to have this in the apartment so that I can remember to jot things down if I need to. Um, also here, I got my first aid kit. So I was going to buy one and it was 4 99 but this worked out to just over £4. So I saved myself a little bit of money by buying it separately. So I bought a little bandage and some adhesive dressing. Um, I got some stereo pad wound pads and I got these low adherent dressing pads as well. Um, I also picked up some medical uh, tape and I picked up some large plaster dressing too and I didn't see any bandages down there but my mum said she was popping out to the shops over the next couple of days so she would look for a bandage for me to take as well so that is everything I got from home bargains and that is what I've already purchased but let me show you what I got in Asda and what I got in Aldi this is everything I picked up in Aldi and it was £24.23p. I'm going to go through the things that I picked up that I need to have now. So I picked up some chicken for the dog so my mum can give the dog some meat. I usually pick up ham but I spent four pence and sport him with chicken while we're away. Um, also picked up some Granny Smith apples for me to have this week because I've only got one left and I've still got a few more days to go. Um, I picked up a pineapple for myself as well and I picked up some black forest fruits um, to go in the freezer for breakfast 
over the next few days before we actually go. So that's what I picked up for me to have now. And then over here is all holiday stuff again. So I picked up rice crackers uh, for myself. These are going to be part of my lunch because I said we have breakfast and dinner sorted in Butlins, but we don't have lunch. We have to pay for it. So I'm trying to take things that I can take with me so I can have lunch. And there's some other bits in the Asda shop, which we'll see next. So I've got sweet chilli rice crackers and I've got lightly salted rice crackers. Also got two packets of rice cakes as well. Uh, just the plain rice cakes. I didn't have the sweet chilli ones that I like. So I just picked up these two. Um, I picked up some apples as well. Because I said earlier I've got the croissants with chocolate filling in for my son if he wakes up early. But I prefer him to have an apple or an orange, but they're there as a backup if he's having a meltdown that he's not got anything to eat, even though there's lots of food here. Also picked up some sweetener for tea in the morning and I picked up my almond milk that I'm going to be taking as well. And again, I've bought oranges, so apple and oranges to have in the room for fruit but at breakfast time I'm going to actually take some I know we're not supposed to but I'm going to do it anyway so I'm going to pick up some pears and apples and oranges to take around the parks with us as well so this will just get us through the mornings and on the way there and on the way back um, I also picked up a tin of chickpeas which I'm going to roast early Monday morning. And I've decided that I'm going to make a little lunch box for myself and my son on Monday. And I'm going to take the other half of these and have them on Tuesday for lunch for myself. So if I'm buying lunch, I'm only buying it for my son and not for me, just to save me money. Also picked up some lemon juice as well, so I can have a lemon water in the morning. Um, and I picked up some more sun lotion because I've already got one for me. But I want to pick another one up just in case because I've seen on the weather that it's actually supposed to be really hot next week. So I want to make sure that I've got plenty of sun cream to take down with me. I um, also picked up some yogurt coated rice cakes because my son said he wanted them. And what I love about these is that they are wrapped in groups of three. So you've got three packets of three there so I can take them around the park and we can have them as a snack if we wanted to. Um, also picked up some Ziploc bags um, because I've got some honey that I'm taking with me as well like runny honey but I wanted to put it in a Ziploc bag so if it does leak or anything it's going to stay in the bag and not go all over my car and everything. And then I also picked up another pack of pretzel thins because I know one bag's not going to be enough, not going to be enough at all. And the final thing I picked up food wise is some dark chocolate. This is actually going to come down with me in a cool bag like a small cool bag um with an ice pack in uh, because dark chocolate is really good for anxiety and so is oranges and because i am an anxiety driver um i decided to buy some dark chocolate and take some oranges in the car on the way down with me and on the way back so if i feel too anxious i can just have a square of chocolate or open or peel an orange at the service station and have that to calm my nerves down. So that's why I brought those. And the final thing is the water. So I picked up 12 bottles of water here and three bottles of water here. So I drink two litres of water a day, which means I need to drink four a day of these because they're 500 millilitres. We need to drink four of them. So that's Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday. And I've got this one to get me through um, Monday afternoon and Friday morning and then I took two spare because I am going to be taking my son's water bottle as well and I can fill them up with good water clean water and then just put some juice in it uh, to get around the park as well so that is everything I bought from Aldi the water the big bottles were 42p each and the 12 pack was £1.79 and they did have other bottles there so they were a deal but when I worked it out this way actually worked out cheaper for me so all of that and what I need for now cost me £24.23p but finally let me show you what I got in Asda and this is Asda <laughs> it looks really small doesn't it Anyway, this come to £9.52. The fruit is all for now, over the next few days before we go. Um, so I picked up some grapes, blackberries and strawberries for my son and I to have over the next few days. Um, he's with his dad on Saturday and Sunday and I pick him up early Monday morning to go to Butlins. So um, these fruit and the apples that I picked up in Aldi are going to be just to get us through the next few days fruit wise. This is the honey that I picked up. I didn't want to take a glass jar with me. So I just bought a bottle of like squirty plastic bottle honey. I know plastic's not great, but it's convenient for me right now. Um, 
So I picked that up to because I have a lemon hot water in the morning, then I have a lemon, honey, and ginger tea at night before I go to bed to help with digestion. I also picked up some sugar, snap peas, and some carrots. Now, I'm taking these with me to Butlins, and with the rice crackers, and with this, and with some fruit, that's kind of going to be my lunch um, over the holiday that we're in Butlins, because I'm trying to save money where I can. My son, obviously, I'm going to buy him lunch, whether he wants sandwiches, or sausage rolls, or things like that. I don't want to buy salad every single day because that many will just mount up. So I thought if I take some sugar snap peas, carrots, and I'll take a peeler and a little knife with me so I don't know what they've got in the room and a food tub with the rice crackers, some rice cakes and some extra fruit that I'll probably take from the actual breakfast area um that's I thought that's going to be better for me I can make my own little lunch box for a few days and um, on the Tuesday I will have half a tin of chickpeas as well so it's only going to be Wednesday and Thursday which is going to be a bit more picky um also picked up some ground ginger in a pack I've literally just run out this morning of my ginger spice jar so now rather than buy another jar i just go going to wash it out and then top it up with this and take the ginger with me so i can add my ginger tea and then obviously i bought some tea bags as well because i already have some chamomile and peppermint tea bags um in the cupboard that's unopened so i'm just going to take a few packets of those and that is everything i bought in asda apart from some noodles and one more thing but i'm going to turn around and show you that and that cost me nine pound fifty two so that is everything that I am taking with me to Butlins. A lot of it is snacky and I probably bought too much and I'm going to buy a few bits there as well. I wanted to buy as much as possible and have extra than to spend more money in the actual holiday part because you know their prices are going to be even more expensive than I would if I went to Home Bargains. And yes, I know I can go out of Butlins and go to the local supermarket across the road, but that's more time out of my holiday that I'm shopping that I don't want to do. I want to enjoy my holiday with my son. So I decided to take everything with me. I don't actually know how much I spent, but I think it's between 60 and 65 pound roughly, which is my usual shopping bill every week. Uh, but I put it all on the screen now of everything that I bought and all the totals so that you can see. Now, as I leave here, I'm going to say goodbye, but keep watching because I was in Asda today and I did buy one more thing that I didn't show you um, because it's happening. It's happening, guys. It is happening. Christmas. Christmas food is coming into the shops. I am super excited. So these are squashes. My son loves squashes. They're naughty and nice elf. I do my son a little elf box every December. So they are going in the elf box. But I will put in some footage in a second of some of the food that they've got in Asda. There isn't much, but it's on its way. It's on its way. I'm so excited. I cannot wait. Um, just seeing the food makes me so happy. So happy. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Leave any comments you have down below. I love reading them and I reply to every single comment that I have. So thank you so much for leaving a comment if you have done already. Please subscribe to the video because I've got a pack with me video coming up. I've got a shopping haul video that we're doing to go to Butlins with. That's coming up as well next week. And then the week after will be the Butlins trip of everything that we've done in Butlins Bogner Regis. So don't forget to like this video first of all and then subscribe to the channel so you don't miss those videos. Thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. I hope whenever you're watching this, you're having a good morning, good day or good evening. I'll see you on the next one. But keep watching for the Christmas step. Have a great day, guys. It's coming. Look at these naughty but nice squashes. You've got hoods. You've got these little M&M &M bars. You've got the reindeer. It's on its way. And over here we've got the Freddo selections, the roses, the snow bars. It's coming. It's coming. I'm so excited. What's this? Caramel nut crunch. Oh, nutty Paraline crisp. It's on its way!